thing I want to talk about related to cross chain has to do with bundling or bundles and permits. Um, and then y'all are also leveraging the EIP 712 standard as well, uh, regards to that. Can you give the, our audience maybe like a little background on what that is and how it plays into version sure. two? So EIP 712 basically is a standard that allowed signing messages for smart contracts to be more readable to the user or the front front end client so that they're not just uh, signing, you know, uh, uh, a random hex string that they don't even know what it is. So now how we're using this in, in our version two is that when, when, when you have to execute something on behalf of a user, there's, uh, for example, uh, like a, a router that uh, does things on behalf of you, there's a security assumption that this router, uh, you have to trust it, right? <laughs> and, 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 the, and when you're sending messages cross-chain, you have to know who is the message sender that you can trust. So I, I think what, what we were able to do with the, with the permits is that you can sign a message beforehand saying that I'm going to send this collateral to this chain and I'm going to allow this specific router that I know uh, belongs to the, to the Fuji smart contracts uh, that, that they are going to open the borrow position and they're going to send the funds to me. So it essentially allows uh, on the receiving chain to do actions on behalf of the user by just uh, signing a message and saving uh, the user the additional transactions on the other chain. So yeah, everyone knows about, uh, actually this EIP is, uh, the, as we, we call them permits, right? It's like uh, we know some, some ERC20 tokens that, uh, uh, instead of requiring from the user to to um, to uh, do a approval transaction to approve, that, for example, when we swap when we do a, a swap on on uh, Uniswap, like uh, like we have to approve the token beforehand so that we can swap um, we can swap it. And some uh, tokens they like they allow for signing just a message and which. Uh, which to be used as a, like a, a approval for the contract to execute uh, this uh, this transaction. Uh, and so so this is like the the base case of the permits and w like our challenge, uh, the challenge uh, um, for for us was how to uh, because the user in the cross chain um, in the cross chain lending and borrowing the user acts from chain a and the the actual borrowing uh, depositing and borrowing will happen on chain b so from uh, by another contract that as they described the user has to trust and uh, so that's how we we came up with the idea that we can use the same mechanism for signing approval, but instead of like uh, for um, the uh, approval of, for ERC twenty uh, ERC twenty approvals, like we uh, we uh, use uh, permits for uh, debt management. Like the user signs this message, we transfer it to do the other chain and validate it on the other chain, uh, and uh, the the user. Like the, the contract is uh, uh, authorized by, by, by it to borrow on behalf of the user, to deposit and borrow on behalf of the user.